in the red and back he's had a bit of a glamour boy reputation likes to do the male modeling work and the TV appearances that kind of thing media friendly kind of fighter Kevin Lushing articulate Let him go, Lushing. Let him go. Lushing. Yes, he's getting caught by punches. As McCreese leaps in, he's, he's landing with right and left. And he's just got he's just got Lushing thinking a little bit. He's having to backpedal here just to try and to, to pull things together. Sharp jabs from Lushing there. He's trying to invite McCreese in all the time, hoping he can find a counter punch. But McCreese, I think, is aware of the game Lushing is playing. Again, McCreese landing, leading first and having some success with that. He looks very up. Looks as if he's got his full concentration on this fight, McCreese. Sometimes in the past he's been accused of having a bit of an uneven temperament. He's twice been disqualified in his career. Two of his four defeats by disqualification. Caught with a nice left hook by Lucian, who had his back to the ropes. He's good at that. Yes, that was a good left hook, but McCreese took it very well. And you wonder what, what, what Lucian's going to start thinking, what's going to go in his mind if he lands with his good shots and McCreese doesn't go down. Blood flows, luckily for McCreese, not into his eye, but down the side of it at the moment. As long as it's not obscuring his vision, it won't be too much of a problem, but the cut could worsen. McCreese looking to rough, Lushing up inside, but getting a warning from Richie Davis about punching around the back of the head. And this is a much better round for McCreese. He's starting to rough Lushing up a bit. He's beating Lushing to the punch. And he's having some good success. Tell me it's McCreesh who's on the chase, for the most part. Lucian does have some dynamite in those fists. Lucian is unmarked. Over in the other corner, you'll see that McCreesh, his uh, cut to the right eye, looks to be getting worse to me. Yes, it does. They're going to have to work hard on that. But his concentration has been very good so far. This is where we think the cut might have happened, Glenn, in round two. This one, the head's coming a little bit close there. They did bang together at that point there. It was hard to see if that was the, the reason. But the heads did come close together. We might get another look from another angle here. Well, definitely, there was a clash of heads there. They did come together, and you see the cut straight after it. The cut was noticeable. So I think, yes, it looked like a, a clash of heads. And there we see the cut. Lucretia's corner working feverishly at that cut. They put an adrenaline solution into it, and it usually takes a couple of rounds for it to take effect. So maybe about now it will... Uh, start to heal a little maybe it won't all good left hook from Lushing again McCreesh took the punch well he was just rocked back for a moment but didn't seem to be dazed or wobbled by it not really Good left hand from Lucian, whipped it in, caught McCreesh on the counter. He's got to be careful about that. Oh, 
but McCreesh has been very forceful. He's really trying to, to push Lushin back and get him out of his stride. He's working well inside. Got through with a good right uppercut, McCreesh. I think McCreesh may have picked up some other facial damage as well by the side of the ear. They're both really winding up with the left hooks. Lushin missed here as got through. But it wasn't a hair for one. McCreesh happy to try to bustle Lushing up inside. They're quite happy to brawl like that. <laughs> Just wonder what the effect of the damaging punches of Lushing will be. Although he's taking the punches, not been on the floor. They're still taking their toll. You only have to look at McCreesh's face to see that. Even if the original injury might have been caused by a clash of heads, we probably think it was. I'm getting much worse. You see the damage now to the, the right eye, starting to bleed a lot more freely. But not yet into the eye. But this won't help the confidence of McCreesh. It's beginning to swell up as well, that right eye. As if he didn't have enough problems. Lots of lateral movement from Lushing. Well, McCreesh has to try and keep the pressure right on Lushing. He can't afford to give Lushing too much room, because that's where he's dangerous. Now, the pattern is very firmly set here, strategically. Lushin on the back foot. McCreesh looking to pass him. He's hurt him. He's got him. Lushin, that should be a count because the ropes really kept him up at that point. No count administered. Now we've got Colin Smith, Lushin's trainer, in the ring before the bell sounded. Now that is most definitely not allowed. So he was well out of order there, Colin Smith. We have mayhem. I think really there are only the ropes get Lushin up there. Yes, they did. He fell into the corner. He was badly hurt by that. I'm not sure whether Smith thought the bell had rang or, or whether it did ring in the noise, but he was badly hurt there. He saw the head rock around. All sorts of problems there for Kevin Lucian. And he just sat down on the bottom rope. It would have been a definite knockdown if he hadn't fell on the rope. Well, Lushing was badly shaken up, and he was lucky it came at the end of the round. What I think happened there is the bell sounded amid the mayhem, and it wasn't heard by everybody, but it was heard by Colin Smith, and that's why he came in the ring. So that may sort that out. But Lushing got out of jail, really, there, quite honestly, because had that happened, say, with two minutes left in the round, you wonder whether McCreesh would have got the job done. Well, it certainly looked like it. He went down very heavy. He looked in all sorts of problems as he was as he fell about the, the bottom rope. And there were some good punches from McCreesh, who's bound to have gained a, an awful lot of confidence, but he can't get too confident about that because we've seen Lushin put down, we've seen him hurt before, only to come back with a good victory. Yes, I thought it was technically a knockdown, like the Lennox Lewis one last week, because I think his glove did hit the canvas in all of that. Lucian's in some trouble here. His British welterweight title may well be slipping away from him. Yes, another good right hand from McCreesh, and Lucian was looking to hold on there. I'm not sure if the, the head of Lucian has really cleared yet. He certainly, he's looking to hold whenever they get close, where McCreesh is looking to work. Now McCreesh would love a street brawl. And Lucian is not missing these punches and slipping them. His legs look more unsteady, Lucian. And McCreesh will never, ever have a better chance than this, you feel, to become a British champion. Another big right hand got in there. Lucian's holding on as they work in close. Now, this is a tough, gritty campaigner, this Jeff McCreesh. And Lucian is finding out all about it. Big left hook, Lushin. McCreesh, I think, might have been hurt a bit by that. He wanted to hold on for a second, maybe. Well, McCreesh landed with the right hand first, but then he had to take a crushing left hook from Lushin. 
who can be very, very dangerous when he's hurt. He might have done an appreciative service there. He certainly held on for a moment anyway, but he's definitely all right again now. And he's starting to hit, let these chopping right hands go, and he's roughing Lushing up. From McCrish, only five kills and 20 fights, but he certainly looks as if he's finding the power tonight. Here he's coming again. Two left hands, then a right. McCrish is not missing. But so far, the good thing McCrish is doing is he's not rushing in. He's taking his time, he's building up his attacks again, and he's not leaving his chin open for a counter by Lushi. Lucretia's knockout ratio is nothing spectacular at all, as you said, only five in 20 fights, but he's definitely hurt Lushi, whose own punch resistance is suspect, there's no doubt about that. No, this is trouble, isn't it, for Lushin? This is big trouble for Kevin Lushin. He's found himself here before and he's got himself out of it. But it, it's been it's a good job from Jeff McCreesh, who's just biding his time, just putting a constant pressure on Lushin and not really letting him get out of trouble. Yeah, McCreesh landing 30 punches to just aid of Lushin's uh, double success rate for Jeff McCreesh. There's another factor in here, I think, as well, and that is that Lushing has only been past five rounds, we reckon, once in about his last 13 or 14 fights. They usually over quickly, and here he's being involved in what McCreech is fairly happy uh, to settle for, a long-distance brawl. McCreech straight out with a, a big right hand, but I think the, the key is Lushing's never hurt McCreech yet. McCreech is taking Lushing's punches very well. Sixth round, and Lushing has to show some championship quality now. He really does have to dig deep, do something different, wrestle the initiative away, because if the pattern of the last few rounds is continued, the title is going. And that's how I have it, a good, a good one-point lead from McCreese. That's two rounds, two rounds I have him winning by. And he well deserves that as well. Oh, big right hand from McCreech. Right open to that was Lushing. Stayed up from it. That looked a jolting punch. We weren't taking it, of course, but it looked a big one, didn't it? It looked a good one, but inside, McCreech got home with two good, solid left hooks. The referee was shouting break, but he still got them in. He had to get a little talking to him. He's looking unsteady there, Lushing. On the back foot and not enjoying this experience at all. Another right hand, Lushing almost looks ready to be taken here. This could be a massive triumph for Jeff McCreesh after all the terrible blows he's had to take in his personal life recently. And there's no sharpness in Kevin Lushing being pushed back behind the jab. He's got to try and find a big punch, Lushing. McCreesh is fighting like a man inspired. He senses now that this prize could be his. And let me tell you that after his mother died, his weight went down from 11 stone 2 to 10 stone 5 in a week. Somebody's gum shield's come out. I think it could have been Lushin's gum shield that was, was either spat out. I think he may well have been just biding for a little bit of time there. Well, was that a clever piece of gamesmanship by Lushing? Or maybe he just lost it authentically. If it happens again, <laughs> well... <laughs> Jeff McCreech has to keep the pressure on Kevin Lushing here. He can't let this opportunity go. He's just standing back a little bit, and all the time it's allowing Lucian's head to clear. McCreech fighting all the time with the cut right eye, but frankly, at the moment, he couldn't care less. Oh, uppercuts catching Lucian as they work in close, wading away to hit 
somebody, Richie Davis is going to step in, is he? Has the bell gone again and we haven't heard it? That's what's happened. Well, we can't hear the bell and this is not helping. That's twice this has happened, that there's been dramatic action right at the end of the round. Could you hear the bell, Glenn? I, I couldn't. Terrific action as the bell went. I don't think anybody could. It was a real roar around the place. They really set two there in the corner. McCreesh forcing it, Lucian with his back in the corner, but Lucian started to fight back out of the corner. He certainly got a, a fighter's spirit, Kevin Lucian. There's some good uppercuts inside, you see. The eyes start to rock about, looking a little bit hurt, dis disorientated here, Kevin Lucian. And Jeff McCreesh sees the opportunity and starts to pile the pressure on. Well, whatever happens from here, as we watch Richie Davis step in, I thought for a moment there that he was going to stop the fight, but the bell had sounded. Here's round seven. McCreesh must have a useful lead by now. The challenger for this title, the 27-year-old from Bratton. Fly attack read to McCreesh by Richie Davis, the referee, punching on the break. The thing with Lushing is he does have the punch and he could just find one that turns this thing around. He could. Yes, as long as he's in there, he has the power to stop this fight. So really, McCreesh has to get this over as quick as he can. He can't afford to take any chances, but he's got to keep a solid pressure on Lushin. Lushin will need enormous grit and talent if he's to somehow come back from this. How much would you put on his chances at the moment, Glenn? Well, I think his chances are quite slim, but you've always got to remember he does have the punch to finish your fight. But McCreese has looked good, he hasn't been hurt by any of Lucien's punches, but he's got to keep his concentration. Good jolting jab from McCreese. Like McCreesh, he's had his problems in his life. You may well have read the stories about Lucian's tortured childhood, which included regular beatings, which is why he gives a donation every month to the National Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Children. You can probably see NSPCC on his shorts. Lucian getting a bit of success there, but McCreesh took the punches and came firing back. Dropping his work rate off a little in this seventh round, and Lushing is happy about that. Happy jab, he just turned that into a, an uppercut just by turning the hand and that rocked the head back of Lucian. Left hook, good shot to McCreesh. They wink at each other as the bell goes, mutual respect. Well, it's been a tough fight, and in tough fights like this, fighters do earn the respect of each other. And it's been hard, he's, he's kept a good pace, Jeff McCreesh. He just, he's in need of a big flurry of thing, and he could finish the fight. You see, he's thrown a, thrown a lot more and landed a lot more. A great, greater success with 46% against a 34% of Lucian's. But you, you sense Lucian just maybe starting to get over you know, the, the hurt he felt a couple of rounds ago. And McCreesh needs to keep the pressure on. Well, the computer there was saying that McCreesh has landed nearly twice as many punches in this fight. Yes, I think you would have to agree with the, the, the statistics there. He certainly landed the more, and there, another good punch 
from Krish. Krishin's trying to fight back, trying to get that left two go, but he just can't find his rhythm. Krish, by the way, in the blue trunks, is in new territory here. He's never been beyond six rounds in his career. Two good punches there from Lucien, but McCreese took them well, and that's how I've got it. McCreese now going into a, a big lead, four rounds ahead, I have him. Round eight of 12. Not many people thought this would last this long. Very strong, McCreesh. And the cut looks to be drying up. Yes, that hasn't worried him for a couple of rounds. He worked well on that in the corner. He just looks so focused, McCreesh. Two good left hooks there from Lucien. Look at McCreesh looking to wrap up Lucien as they work in close. But Lucien. That was his best work for some time. He's digging in here, Kevin Lushing, but he doesn't seem to be moving too steadily on those legs. Hasn't done for some time. No, he doesn't. He just can't find a good base to let that left hook go. His legs are just still a little bit unsteady. Krish's pressure. He's not really known as a huge puncher himself. He's had his good stoppage wins. But usually when he does it, it's by weight of rugged pressure and aggression. Yes, and he's just going a little quieter, just dropping off the, the pace. He's never gone beyond six, and you just wonder if it's starting to get to him a little bit. Is Lucian starting to creep back in to this argument? He needs to, and fast, even on the scorecard, I would imagine. This is Lucian's best round in a while. Too. McCreesh doing less now, significantly less. Is it just a lull from him, or is the tide turning a little? There's a good left hook from Lushing, who is maybe growing in confidence a little. That was Lushing's round. As for the first time in that round, Lushing was starting to take the initiative. He was starting to just look to push McCreesh back. That little bit and just starting for the first time to get his punches off quicker than McCree. So you know, the question is, is McCree starting to tie? Is he starting to, to run out of ideas? Or, or did he think he would have Lucien away by now? But whatever, he must be significantly ahead, McCree. Yes, you would think he's got to be ahead on the referee's scorecard. He certainly is on mine. Although I give Lucien pulling that one, the eighth round back. But maybe it was just a, a, a maybe just McCreese was taking a little rest in that. There we are, Francis landed. McCreese, well, he's landed a lot more according to the computer. Heck of a lot more, in fact. Lucian's glad that the computer isn't scoring this, I should think. <laughs> it's ninth round. Lucian, remember, in the stripes, the defending British welterweight champion. That's what's on the line here in this arena where they've had so many famous fights. Well, this has been a good fight. We thought it would be a, a shorter one, but it certainly we, everybody thought it would be a very good one. Can Lucian build on that better eighth round he had in this the ninth? Time's running out for him, though, isn't it? Yes, he's got to try and find some form. I think he's been hit more in this fight than I've ever seen him before. 
this would definitely go down as Lushing's hardest fight. The Felix Trinidad experience was a short and relatively painless one by comparison. And he had the moral success, at least there, of having put one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world on the seat of his pants. There's been no such luxury with this no-nonsense pro Jeff McCreesh. That's good from Lucian, though. Oh, he's got McCreesh going a bit here. But he can't seem to really put a dent in this challenger. Well, I think they were the best punches that Lucian's landed in this fight. They looked hurtful. But McCreesh, to his credit, has took them well. This will be extremely discouraging for Lucian, who's used to seeing people hit the canvas when he lands with his best shots. They're bouncing off McCreesh, and he's still there, strong and determined in front of this champion, and he has to somehow mentally adapt to that. And he's trying to bend the knees, dig down, get some power in that left hook, Kevin Lucian. As Jeff McCreech just marches forward again. It's a good contest, this. You've seen a lot of headlines in the last couple of weeks based on a couple of high-profile fights about boxing in the gutter and so on, but that does a great disservice to pros like these in fights like this. The cut is worse around the right eye of McCreech. Suddenly opened up again. I think he just lost his balance there a little bit, Jeff McCreesh, a little bit unsteady. But he quickly nodded to his corner as if he was all right. Well, this is boiling up very nicely. Now, I'll tell you something about Kevin Lushing. A few people, I think, especially early in his career, had him down as a bit of a flash Harry with the male modelling and that sort of thing. Wonder if he really had the grit and heart well, he's shown trench he has, warfare. He's shown he, he is, he's got substance, he's got character. You know, it's been very, very hard for him in there tonight. A lot of other fighters might have taken the easy way out, but not Kevin Lucian. He's standing in there, he probably won that round, and I think in the, the first time, he may well have hurt Jeff McCreesh with some good punches. You can see in the replay there, Lucian's the one who's pushing forward, landing these shots. There was the, a good left. Ten seconds. And McCreesh took the punches well, he's very strong, very resilient. Tenth round, last three, into the straight. Lushing, red and black, defending the British Welterweight Championship, but in great danger of losing it to the blue-shorted Jeff McCreesh. It's a, a... what have you got, a, a point in it? I've got one point, two rounds, still ahead for McCreesh. Lushing is edging back in the last couple of rounds. It may not be too late for him if he can win this last three. It might be pretty close. Hey, go! Hey, go! Well, as he's dropping off the pace, McCreesh, he's just giving Lushing that little bit more room to find his punches. He landed a good left hook there. Hey, go, hey, go! Oh, caught with the left hook himself Lucian and has to give ground but finds a decent right uppercut Lucian holding in close there but there were three good uppercuts oh he's got him again left hand then a right and Lucian may not get back from this bravely he gets to his feet put your gloves up says Richie Davis show me you're ready to go on he is but is this McCreesh's moment Jeff McCreesh is the new British welterweight champion after the most dramatic build-up any fighter could imagine to a fight. Lushing has lost his title. That is a sensational and emotional triumph for Jeff McCreesh. It really was a terrific fight. Lushing went down heavily. He jumped up a little too quickly, I thought, but McCreesh was straight on him, seizing the opportunity. 
and as the fight had to be stopped when it was a terrific performance, an inspired performance from Jeff McCreesh, who's overcome terrible personal tragedy to win that fight. Well, I don't know where his dad, Dougie, is. He may well be up there in the ring. He was in intensive care about a month ago after that car crash which killed Jeff McCreesh's mother. Well, some real grit and courage from Kevin Lushing but it wasn't enough. Yes, the good left hook there from McCree. He kept the, the pressure on. You see the referee very quick to jump in. He'd already been down quite heavily, Kevin Lushin. And good finish from Jeff McCree. He really seized his opportunity. He boxed a very forceful fight, looked very inspired and kept the pressure on throughout. Well, we remember in similar circumstances on a much bigger stage, Buster Douglas coming through a similar tragedy to beat Mike Tyson after the death of his mother. And I don't know whether Jeff McCreesh was fighting for the memory or what there, but he was absolutely inspired, and he is the British welterweight champion, and you take your hats off to him. There's a good left hook there that go ready for the finish. He keeps the pressure on. You can see Lushin badly hurt he fought a very courageous fight Kevin Lushin he was hurt a few times but he showed great character and kept at it but it just wasn't enough and McCreesh fought an excellent fight and was just too strong ladies and gentlemen referee Richie Davies Rules that Kevin Lushing is unable to continue and stops the bout at one minute and 20 seconds of round number 10. The winner and new British welterweight champion, Jeff the Leech What a fight, and what a superb display in adversity tonight from Jeff McCreesh. That's his father, who's been through so much. They've experienced the worst that life can throw at anyone in the past couple of months. That's what it means to him. Well, we always knew that McCreesh had the ability to cause big-name fighters problems, but tonight is the night it all came together. Jim Watt watched it with me. I, I really thought that was thrilling. Perhaps the fight of the night, Jim. Yeah, it will not be far away from the fight of the year. Phenomenal courage shown by both men. And in the end, I think the winner was just the guy who wanted that little bit more in most of the rounds. I think the early cut uh, maybe it caused him just to rev up his game that little bit and he took the fight by the scruff of the neck. Lushin should have gone with him, but McCreesh, he really he, he surrendered the centre of the ring to McCreesh in the early rounds. I think that was his undoing. He never really got really back into the fight again from that point. No place for a loser, is it? The belt changes hands. McCreesh is the champion and Lushin's quick to make his getaway. Let's hope it's not the last we see of Kevin Lushin. He's been excellent for boxing. But the winner and the new champion is talking to Ian Darrell. Well, here he is, Jeff McCreesh, the new British welterweight champion. How does that sound? Good. Very good. I'll tell you one thing, I did it for my dad. I had a lot of problems this month with my mum and brother. You now my dad can get back on his feet. I had a little baby boy the other, the other week, Tommy Lee, to my fiancée, Melissa, is at home watching this. I'm going to marry her. <laughs> is that a proposal? Yep. <laughs> You're proposing marriage to, to Melissa here on the air, are you? Someone here. Yep, definitely. You've had to come, I think everybody's read about it, you've, you've come through a sort of t terrible time with your family and the build-up to this fight, but you seem to be inspired there in the ring. Yeah, well, yeah, just, just come on the night. You know, three weeks ago, I was really, really out, really gone, I was. I picked myself up, I've done it for my dad, now he can get back on his feet. Your dad, Dougie, is here at ringside, isn't he? Have you got anything to say to him? I've done it for him, yeah? yeah He's had a bad time. No, you get back on your feet. Come sit here. Huh? Your, your, your dad, Dougie, was in intensive care, what, a, a month ago. Uh, Doug, here he is. Uh, maybe we could have a word with him. Um, what does that mean to you, your son becoming British welterweight champion after everything that's happened? 
what can I say? He's done the business for me, he's done the business for the family, and he's done the business for Teesside! For Teesside. You, you are, of course, originally from Stockton on Tees, aren't you? Uh, yeah, yeah. So you're doing it for Stockton and Tees and Bracknell? Do it for him. Do it for him and myself. That's it. What, what, what do you think's next? You can, can you go on from this here? Anything to give me like they've done before. Anything to throw in front of me. I'll fight anybody as long as everybody's right. Did you surprise yourself a bit tonight, the way you did that? Not at all. Not at all. Listen, everyone's surprised about me. I never surprise myself. Everybody else is always surprised what I can do. Not me. Well, it's a fantastic triumph, not only for you, but for the family as well. And we, we wish your father a very speedy recovery. Well done. Thank you. and for his family and let's hope that he can go on to do credit to that championship belt Jim what what were the keys to the victory for you just this year has changed hands